God comes in the midst of praising God. So we are expecting the mighty presence of God. And this is my prayer of faith. That this night, even if you have come here with any need, kama unaitaji yoyote dani ya moyo wako, kupitia kumuimbia bwana, utatoka hapa, ukiwa tayari mungu wa mekutembelea. Praise the Lord. Do you know what? There are deliverances. There are deliverances that we receive when we sing to the Lord. You sing to the Lord, demons land free away. You sing to the Lord, some of the things that are holding you, you are freed by the Lord. So, in praising the Lord, don't only wait for the free preacher. Don't only wait to hear somebody saying, in the name of Jesus, na utandikwe makofi, apana leo, hakuna kutandika mutu kofi, ili tuondoe pepo, apana, just sing to the Lord, and the Lord will come, and will minister in our lives. Let's appreciate our maker together. Ah, do you know what? Some of us, some of us, I'm telling you, there are miracles that you are going to receive as you sing to the Lord. Hey! Kuna watu wakona tu stress kidogo kidogo. Nataka tu ni kiongea tu ili museti hizo vitu. Sababu sitaki iria hivyo tukiimba. Afadhali iria hivi ni kiongea. Ushinda when we are in there. Already we have went hand into the real thing. As you sing to the Lord, labda kwa familia yenu saa hii kuna watu wako na mahitaji mambo umekuwa ukiyaombea kwa munda maybe your parents maybe your brothers and sisters kuna watu umekuwa ukiwaombea as we, you sing to the lord joyfully because the bible says the angels come when we are singing to the lord angels and campers angels come to celebrate together with us Ebu ni wambia siri moja ni kimalizia. Disco, zile zilikuwa zinaimbo wa kitambo, disco. Wale wazee wa kitambo hawa. Walikuwa wanaenda kuimba disco. Hukiimba vizuri. Kama wea ni demu. Ama wea kini kijana. Hukiimba vizuri. Huna attracti wengine kuimba na wewe. Kijana, ange time. Haone msichana ule ya dance vizuri. Utaona wanaume wameenda karibu na ye. Na wameanza kuimba. Na siyo, siyo disco peke yake. Hata angalia wakati kuna ku, u, u, watu wameenda shere. Politicians. Wakiona mama ambaye ya dance vizuri wakimusherekea. Hata wao wanaenda kudance pamoja na ye. Do you know what that means? Singing haikuanza, haikuanza hapa. Tunaona. Even in heaven. When you dance, even here on earth as you dance, angels come because they are rejoicing together with you. Na hebu ni kurize, malaika akinja imbe na wewe. Unaona kama atakuwecha hivo? Kama muanandamu akiimba na mtu. Imanje ni siku moja uru alienda akaimba na mama moja sijua likuwa muturoka na ama musamburu. Akaimba na ye. Huyo mama aliachiwa kitu kizuri. Hata wewe ukiimba na malaika leo. Do you think utaachwa hivyo? There must be something. May you receive what, what God wants to give to you today. Kunapo muimbia bwana. What we are praising in worship. As you dance to the Lord. The tehila. The presence of the Lord. May the Lord come. That is my prayer of faith. To simame hili tuweze kumuambia bwana. Sasa ni bwana. Ashuke na jia ku. Atembe na atende. In the name of Jesus. Can you lift up your heart? Lift up your hand this way. Father, we are trusting in you. For we, are come, we have come in your sanctuary. Not for any other business. But the business of praising the Lord. We ask for presence of God. So that each and every one of us. Will feel the presence of God ministering. Deep in our hearts. Lord, we trust in you. We believe in you that this particular night there shall be mighty flow 
of the Holy Spirit. That your people shall feel the real energy that is there in serving the Lord. We believe this, O oh Lord. We dedicate this altar for the power of the Lord. We declare this night is a night for the move of God. That is our prayer of faith. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now as we remain, as we remain standing as a servant of God, given the mandate to serve in this altar, I want to declare this worship night officially blessed of the Lord in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus! We thank you. Welcome to this sanctuary. Praise the Lord. Be crazy as you dance for the Lord. Now, Siogope, he can listen to Mungu, wherever you are Mungu, he be a Mungu, back a Mungu a fly. Asante, God bless you. God bless you. Let us celebrate Jesus. Let us celebrate Jesus. We have every blessing here in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, let us be seated, Kidogo. Again, let us be seated. I request the music minister to be doing something as we, as we prepare for the next thing. I saw our patrons, dear men, our happy. Uh, get to Salimia. Amen. Yes, music minister, kindly. Mfanya Araka. Uh, Bant, kindly, uh, Bant yenye inafaa kuwa hapa, itufanyanga mambo. As we, amen, are excited today. Amen. We will be praising with them uh, the, tonight. And we want to see what they have prepared for us. And I'm so sure that they have prepared something good by the help of God. Yes, we'll be seated so that we see them. Wakifika apa mbele tutasimama. Sawa sawa, with the shouts, with the praising, venye tumeambiwa, and with all those celebrations in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you ready? Can I see a signal there? Yes, I want to see a signal. Kama mko ready apo. Apo, come on, come ready. I want to know. One minute. Numa, I want to know whether you are ready. As they prepare, we appreciate the reverend for, for blessing us. Sindio? Yes. We, we are grateful, Reverend. We feel part of what God is doing here. Are you ready there? You are ready? Now, from the back, the side, I can't see anything. Are we ready there? Jens, are we ready? Please, one minute. Yes, we bless the Lord. Yes, someone is saying some, something here. We want everybody to be ready. We are praying that everything will work for good. This, this is God's agenda. Are we ready from that side? Ready there? Are we ready from this side? We are ready. 
from the back. Are we ready there? Okay, band, are we ready? Yes, to Mambiwa, uh, as I talk, be ready. Amen. Okay, okay, okay. Let us celebrate Jesus for my coffee. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready. Okay. Ukiwa mali tu ko kicho tu fanya fanya kidogo kidogo sawa sawa. Yes, we can start from this side.
sasa tukasimame I want the sister We want to dance with them Everybody Dance with them to experience God tonight, lift up your hands and tell God, oh my deepest, my honest desires that I see you tonight my deepest desires that I witness you tonight, come on, open your mouth and pour out your desire to the Lord Lord, how we have desired you tonight you are the yearning of our hearts come on, let's leave your magic 
Oh, so do our hearts long for you tonight. May we experience you tonight. Let it not be another worship experience. Let it be with a difference. Oh. You can lift your voice higher. Lord, we desire you. We give you our hearts and our souls. Yeah. This is my desire. Come on, if you know the song, to honor you, hey. Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. I worship you, and all I have, we. Lord, I keep you away. It's all that I adore is in you. Come on, lift your hands.
I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Come on, lift your voice. I live for you. Every breath, every breath that I take, every moment I'm away, every moment I'm away. One more time, Lord, have your way. One more time, lift your hands, Lord, I give you.
us. We are giving it all to you. We are giving it all to you, Jesus.
Yes, Jesus, tonight we're giving ourselves to you, oh God. Jesus, we just want you. We pray that you're giving us you, oh God. That every other thing is going to wait, oh God. That you're giving us you, King of glory. Oh Lord, we are here before you today, Jehovah. That you may give us you. Ah, Jesus, we are here for you tonight. We are here that we may gain from you. We are here that we may encounter you, King of glory. Give us you, Lord. Give us you, Jesus. That every other thing will wait, oh God. That our friends will wait, our relatives will wait, oh God. But we will have you, King of glory. It is our prayer tonight, oh God. And you are giving us you, Jesus. And you are giving us you, Lord. That every other thing is waiting. King of glory, you are having your way in our lives, oh God. Give us you tonight, oh God. Give us you tonight, Jehovah. We desire to drink from the deep. We desire to connect from the deep. We desire to abide in your presence. Jesus, we desire you. Today, may you give us, Lord. Give us you, Jesus. Give us you, King of glory. Give us you, Lord. Give us you, Jesus.
adoring Lord. The Bible says that the mountains melt before him because he is the God of all the earth. He is so great and he is so exalted in his majesty and he deserves all the praises that comes from our mouths. Lord, we bless you, King of all the glory. We exalt your name this evening, O Jehovah. Receive our praises, O God. Receive the worship from deep within our hearts, O Jehovah. We bless your name this morning, King of all the glory, O God. And we declare that, O Lord, you are deserving of all our praises, Jehovah. Unastahili utukufu, mwana wa mabwana. Unastahili heshima, mwana wa mabwana. Unastahili kuabudiwa mfalme wa ajabu Unastahili sifa zetu mfalme Your own way, Jehovah. You are God. 
to hear, to hear you say that the mountains melt before him because there is none that can be placed in comparison to him. He is God from beginning to the end and he is God all by himself. salvation, the gift that whoever finds it receives the life and the life is eternal life come on, if God has ever given you life tell him God thank you for the gift of salvation thank you for the gift of salvation that God you have given unto me thank you for the life that you have given unto me thank you for every opportunity that you have ever given me it is not that I am better than them that are like me, but it's just by your grace, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. When I think upon your goodness and your faithfulness each day I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy to receive the kind of love that you gave but I'm grateful for your mercy And I'm grateful for your grace And because of how you put yourself I am come to sing this song out in praise
I could not come near your praises. I could not come near your praises. I could never sing your song. But the sacrifice on Calvary Street. Church, say Imela, Imela, O Kaka, Imela, Imela. One more time. thanks God deserves the heart that is willing to worship him na usiku wa leo na sababu ya kumwambia Yesu wewe wastahili it doesn't matter you what you may have gone through but tonight kumwambia Bwana ni wewe wastahili every struggle that you may be going through God is willing to set you free with your heart that is willing to worship a heart that is sincere to bow before him just tell him god hakika we wastahili dio bwana ah jesus wastahili heshima Join with me, 
can sing. Ah, yeah. Jesus was talking. She man out to move. Say my. Chakuchagua, we we uli ni chagua. Kabla si chakupenda, uli ni penda kwanza. Ukani ketisha, pamoja na we ili ni kuwa kilisha dunia. We we uli wakilisha sema.
Yesu astahili heshima Tukufu na wote Bwana Sikiliza mpendwa Mungu sio mwanadamu Mungu sio mwanadamu God sends his word over us Kama mvua inyeshavyo mbiguni kuja ardhi ndivyo neno la Mungu lipo anapotamka neno kuja kwa maisha yetu haliwezi kurudi kule bure It doesn't matter what you may have gone through God has a good purpose for your life and he says in the book of Jeremiah 29:11 kwamba ako na mipango mema juu yetu plans to give us hope to give us future haijalishi unayopitia sasa unapomwabudu Mungu angalia roho yako and he sees your sincerity and i want the church i want to hear your voice tunamwambia Bwana Yesu astahili wewe heshima zote kanisa ah yeah. Yesu astahili wewe God is willing to hear your voice. Inua sente kwa Bwana, mwambie ah. Mwinulie sauti yako mwambie Bwana. He is willing to hear your voice. Jesus was the healing. Shima na utukufu we. Mwambie tena ah. Yeah. Jesus was the healing. Jesus was the Have a bigger gun than that. Shango! Ah. Amen. You want to do it Caribbean style? Caribbean style. Come on, somebody, give a show! Yes, we love you, my mom. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says there is no other friend. Who sticks closer than a brother? Amen. Are we ready? Yes. Can I have my colleague singers with me and my choreographers? Where are my dancers? Where are my dancers? Come on, put on your dancing shoes. Aye. Wanna bend? Ah, libra move, libra move. Come on, Bila Jasho. Aye Give a shout of praise Come on Sioni Sioni speed dance A one a two
smile bar now, we just smile. A banner of feet, you'll hear where my come is. A banner of feet, you'll hear where my come is. A banner of feet, you'll hear where my come is. A banner of feet, you'll hear where my come is. Yes, you need a feet, you are quailing. Then I need a bean in Fubana. Sababu yo pendo wako Uli ni penda bado ni kiwa bado adu yako Tena ni kuwa bado lasi shiki neno lako Ila uka ni pendo uka utoa uhai wako Kathiba uya mauti yangu ili kuwa juu yako Kathiba upata matesu mingi na masumbuko Mtu wa uzuni mingi uli ujua esi kitiko Yote kisama ana nipa nike mwana Yesu umenipa neema Umenipa uzima Umenitenda wema sina hata la kusema Maombi watibu, wetabibu wakaribu Ujawa ini yata kwenye shida wala tabu Umekuwa na katika kuwa tuwa yangu Mana nimi ni wetamuwa we rafiki wakaribu Rafiki, rafiki Hey Yesu Hallelujah. 
living God. Nataka tumwambie Bwana kwamba yeye ndio mtetezi wetu. Praise the Lord. Kwa hivyo kama uko na shida weka kando. As we praise mountains are breaking in the name of Jesus. As we are praising things are falling in the name of Jesus. As we are praising, the Lord is waiting for us. Hallelujah. Angels are battling for your behalf in the name of Jesus. So I want us to sing with power.
tunakupa simba. Amen. Nela part says, Heshima na adhama ni zako. Amen. If you believe that the Lord is on the glory, give a shout.
bless the name of the Lord because he has been good. Amen. Amen. We are going to do a few old school songs that you are aware of. Amen. Come on, are you ready? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, come on, come on, come on.
Come on now, come on now, come on now. Hallelujah. Has, has the Lord been good? Si Mungu amekuwa mzuri. Amen. We want to declare that he's good in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And I appreciate the Lord. Amen. We want also to declare at kwa Yesu hatu. Come on now. Kwa Yesu hatu. Hatu kidogo. Si 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 Kwa Yesu si 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 Kwa Yesu si 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 Come on show Aya twende
There is something that happens in Joshua 6.20. One has three That when people shouted at the sound of the trumpets, that the wall fall flat down. Hallelujah. Now we want to praise God. We want to tell him you are the one who will praise God.
Actually, the best song is coming uh, the next hour after these few ones. Amen. We are blessed of the Lord. Yes, I request that you get settled. We are blessed of the Lord uh, this night. Uh, and I'm so sure that People are already getting blessed because I'm also being blessed. Amen? Before we get to one of the most important sessions, I would love choir to run here. Praise God. I would love to see choir running. I don't know whether they are anywhere around. Please clap for them. Clap for them. I'm telling you, these people are going to sing. Uh, the best dancers are here. Yes, the choreographer who can climb the wall and the come back is here already. Sawa sawa. Clap for them, clap for them.
subcom of this event. When you want to let up kindly, Mukiongoza na chairperson Wenu. Yes, uh, David and your team, please come running. Uh, come running. Yes, let us appreciate them. Let us appreciate them. Yes, yes. Wow, si wana kafiti, sindio? Ambia mweza kwa wana kafiti. Please, sidini nani anafaa kuongea? So, where is David? David, yes. Yes, hallelujah. Wana yesu wa sifiwe. Muna barikiwa, siyo? Muna barikiwa? Yeah, so this is the team that we were working with uh, to organize this event. And in Tawakaribisha to Kilamtu, Jina to and the position you are serving. <laughs> yes, Tanzi Apawa Kalamba. Praise God. Mkopoa, um, I'm Anna Kalamba. I was in charge of dressing and the treasurer. Be blessed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wana Sifiwe. My name is Ruth Nyambura Kibutu. I'm born again. I was serving as the vice chair and in charge of discipline. Thank you. God is good and all the time. Uh, my name is Samson Otieno and I was serving as the band coordinator. Hallelujah. Yes, shake your neighbor, Kidogo. Bwana Yesu Asifiwe. I'm Jambo. So my name is Israel Karaoke Osbert. I've been serving as the ex-official. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Kwa kipande ni Michael Ngurenjogona. I'm born again. I was a vocal trainer. God bless. Bwana sifiwe. Hallelujah. Yes. I was serving as prayer coordinator. Praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Sharon Werimu. I was serving as the vocal trainer. Uh, praise Jesus. My name is Abel Shem Kibet. Uh, I serve as, the, as one of the band coordinators. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. I'm Kellen Mwangi. I was in the committee. I was serving as the secretary. <laughs> Tuwapigie makofi. Tunakaa aje. Yeah, so these are the people you are serving together with them in the worship night committee. And so before we sit down, I want to welcome Ruth to acknowledge the visitors when you are mefika. Wana sifiwe tena. Wana sifiwe. As the Chuka University Christian Union, today we are privileged to have visitors among us, and I want us to recognize them. Quick. Sawa, sawa. Yeah, so if I mention the church or the university that you're coming from, kindly stand and wave to the church, and then the rest of us we clap. Sindio? Yeah, uh, among us, we have Chogoria Campus, KMTC. <laughs> Tuwapigia tu makofi. Uh, Togoria Chuka Branch. Uh, we have MCH Church. We have Embu University. We have uh, someone from Kirubia. Someone from Kirubia. Yes. Uh, another one from Kivumbu. We have our host church, the PCA members. Uh, 
uh, we have uh, friends from Kerenyaga County. Uh, and now to ourselves, the Chuka University Christian Union. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, so thank you. We can have our seats. MC, Karibu. Let us clap for them. And uh, Ruth forgot to say, and we have me. But it is okay. Praise God. I want us to be upstanding uh, just in a moment as we go into hear the word of God from the servant that he is preaching. The word of God is one of the most important sessions. If you sing and you don't hear God, you still insufficient. And because he sends his word and we receive healing. We want to calibrate ourselves to fit into his standards. And I want you to tell God to, to prepare your heart. May he align your hearing, your receptacle with his word this night. And I refuse to sleep. Rebuke laziness. If you see yourself sleeping, please rebuke it. It is very easy anyway. So tell God to prepare your heart. May the Lord take away every distraction. May the Lord take away anything that can hinder his word from coming. In the name of Jesus, may the Spirit of God prepare a ground for the seed that comes from the word of God to grow in us. May he prepare a ground in the name of Jesus. The word of God will come like a seed to the farmer and the, and the bread to the eater. And we are praying that it will be sufficient and timely to our lives. It is a double-edged sword. It will cut both sides of our souls, spirits, and flesh. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you praying and telling God you want to hear from him. We want to hear from you, God. We want to hear from you. We so much desire that you may speak to us, God, and that we may receive a healing. We so desire that you may speak to us and that we may, God, be exalted and comforted. We so desire that you may speak to us Lord, that we may be healed in the name of Jesus, that we may be rebuked and be corrected and be revived by your word, O oh God. You say the words that you speak are spirit and life. And the God, here we are, Lord, that you may speak a word of life to our bodies. May you speak a word of life to our dead situations. May you speak a word of life to our dysfunctional families may you speak a word of life to our everything that is dying in the name of jesus christ speak life to everything that concerns us speak life to our form of worship speak life to our seal speak life god almighty in our operations speak life god to our country may you speak life we are praying that, Father, you may speak life. You may speak life. We desire that you may speak life in the name of Jesus. 
Father, speak through your servant this night. And we are ready. God, we are ready. You have said the things that you have kept for those that trust in you. God Almighty, no ear has heard it. Nobody has perceived it. No eye has seen it. Father, we know you have kept great and mighty things in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Father, that we may get them from your sanctuary. This night, Father, may we not come here for in vain. May you not come here for fun. But Jesus, to hear from you, to get from you, and to dine from your table. In the name of Jesus Christ, we know that you have prepared the bread that brings life and the life into fullness. In the name of of Jesus Christ and we have believed and trusted in your name we have prayed everybody clap for Jesus everybody clap for Jesus now tonight we are having the servant of God always about to speak to us but I want to give Madam, the privilege of inviting him here so that he may speak to us. Please, let us clap for her. Let us clap for her, please. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Just lift your hands and celebrate the Lord in this place. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. You are exalted, we magnify you, thank you Lord, hallelujah. My name is Faith Mbushi and I'm born again, Jesus is Lord of my life. I am privileged to be in this place this evening to fellowship together with each one of you because we are children of the same father. We came all the way from Nyeri and we came with the love of Christ. And we want to appreciate your inviting us here and uh, the fact that you have time even to have us in this place. And even as we sit to listen to the word of God, I pray that our hearts will be open to God and our hearts will receive the word and that our hearts will be fertile ground. Praise the Lord. Sijazoya kuongea before servant of God, but I just want to us to celebrate him as he comes. Yes, praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. You're welcome. Karibu. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Wave your hands in the air wherever you are. Give the Lord a way of offering in this place. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands to the Lord and I want you to raise your expectation to Jesus because the Bible says, by virtue of two or three gathered in his name, he is in the midst. So just raise your hands and say, Lord, it is you that I desire. We are not waiting on any man. We are waiting on Jesus because it is his presence that makes all the difference. Father, we worship you and we glorify you in this place. Yes, Lord, we declare this is holy ground. We are standing on holy ground for your presence is here. Your sweet, beautiful presence is here, Lord. Oh, how we need you, Lord. It is you that we need. Niwewe peke yako, buwana unaweweza kutosheleza. Itaji la kila moyo. Tunainua matarajio yetu kwako. Wewe mbae ni mungu unaeona sirini. Ndiyo buwana unaona hadi vilindi vya kila moyo ulio mahali hapa. Unajua hitaji la kila moyo bwana. You know every need even to the very depths of our hearts. We welcome your presence Holy Spirit. Teach us to worship the Father in truth and in spirit. Hmm? What 
mustahili sifaz moyo wangu na kwa butu ulini umani kwa butu na kwa butu e Wastahili Wastahili Sifa za moyo wa Na kwa budu Yesu Bwana ulini umani kwa budu Nyosha mikono yako sema na kwa budu Na kwa budu O ulini umani kwa budu Na kwa budu we Na kwa budu Hewe mungu wangu Kwa roo na kweli Na kwa budu Hewe Yesu one more time with your voice, live and sing, what's the healing way? Hey, see if I's a boy, a one, one and a quapoo. Kwa tamu yako Hewe Yesu Usiku wa leo wa stahili Sipaza moyo wangu Na kwa budu wangu Wewe ulini umba ni kwa budu Na kwa budu up your mouth and bless his name say what's the hilly bar my shiny mongo wewe ulie ni umba ulie ni umba kwa kusuri la kukua budu ha ulie ni umba ban ulie ni umba ban niwe chombo chako Sacrifice I am 
belong to you everything we are everything that we ever aspire to be is found only in you Lord only in you Lord for only you can satisfy only you can satisfy the deepest longing of our hearts we yield ourselves to you Lord tonight we yield ourselves to you tonight you who is the refiner's fire we thank you Lord we celebrate you Jesus we celebrate you in this place we lift up a shout of praise to you, Lord. Receive this worship, Lord. Receive our worship, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Nataka tu geukie jirani yako na umnyoshe mkono. Kule Western tunasema pokeeko salamu. Mwambie pokeeko salamu. Na wewe umesalimiwa sema na pokeeko. God bless you. May have a seat in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. We are grateful because rain signifies a change of season. Hallelujah. And we believe as the rain is falling, so the rain of the Spirit is raining down in this place. Hallelujah. I bless God for this humble opportunity to stand before a generation that God is raising here in Chuka University a generation of true worshippers hallelujah my name is Mbushi Maina
I believe this church wasn't complete, but we thank God because now it's a complete sanctuary and we can see the doing of the Lord. Amen. Uh, I'm born again and uh, I thank God I came with my wife, Faith, who's just said hi. And uh, uh, one thing I'm grateful for, somebody once told a story of how they went to their best friend's wedding. Uh, na kasikia kiwa arusa na kwa sababu yeye hakuwa amefanya arusi lakini mimi niko na ushuhuda kwamba i not only went to my best friend's wedding i married my best friend Our firstborn is called Amalia. She's uh, in Form 2 in uh, Nakuru Girls. And our secondborn is called Obed. He is about to turn nine years old, and we have a thirdborn called Noah. And uh, we bless God for the fruit of the womb. Hallelujah. Uh, we serve with a ministry called Rema, Missionary Outreach International. And uh, we are in a program called Youth with a Destiny, where we do outreach to schools, to universities, and to colleges. Uh, apart from that, um, I am a social worker by training. That's what I did in campus. But I currently serve as music director in the ministry. I also serve in a Flewo Nyeri chapter as a worship director, by the grace of God. And I've, I am a vocal trainer and a music trainer. I also train worship teams. Um, that's what the Lord has called me to do. Hallelujah. So I feel very much at home in a worship event. I feel uh, like a fish in water. So, msini angali sana nikizama, ama nikireflect sana, because it is my kind of environment. So I thank God when I see young people who are zealous and passionate for Jesus and who worship him without reservation. Hallelujah. And we're going to be sharing on the topic of worship in the few minutes that we have. I know it is the hour of grace. Where you, your brother or your sister's keeper. Hallelujah. So come your neighbor anaombea muhubiri mwambie muhubiri anasimama hapa mbele. Amen. So, we're going to be sharing on the topic of authentic worship or true worship. And uh, today's theme is uh, taken from Revelation 5 9. And uh, we'll be sharing that scripture together. Not to going to read, allow me to read uh, Revelations, Revelation 5 from verse 1 to verse 10, just for the context of it. Amen. These are the words of John, the revelator, or the apostle John, he, who he is commonly known as the beloved of the Lord. He says, and I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to lose its seals? And no one in heaven on, or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look at it. So I wept much because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll or to look at it. But one of the elders said to me, do not weep. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has prevailed to open the scroll and to lose its seven seals. And I looked and behold in the
standing in the center of the throne, encircled by the four living creatures and the elders. He had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. He came and took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. And when he had taken it, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb. Each one had a harp and they were holding golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals because you were slain. And with your blood, you purchased men for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God and they will reign on the earth. Praise the name of Jesus. So I want us to turn to the book of Genesis, chapter 22. Genesis chapter 22, from verse 1 to 5. Now it came to pass, after these things, that God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham... Here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains I will tell you about. Verse 3, early the next morning, Abraham got up and saddled his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. He said to his servants, Stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship. If that's your Bible, you will worship. If it's your King James, says we will go up yonder and, and worship. Father, we are grateful for your word this morning and even as it comes forth, we acknowledge that it contains inherent power, that it is able to discern even the thoughts and the intents of our hearts. It is able to search us out. I pray, Lord, let this word tonight have a free course in each and every one of us. We open up our spirits, we open up our minds to understand and ask that the Holy Spirit shall give us insight on this truly, truly important topic of worship. I pray, Lord, that you will help us and mold us in accordance with your desire. You say that you are seeking for true worshipers. I pray, Lord, that you will find them in this place tonight. In Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. So we're just going to do a bit of brief introduction. The word worship is a simple word, an English word, which means to ascribe worth. It comes from a word called word skype, an old English word. It means to ascribe worth. So let me ask you a question. I know you came to this worship event tonight. But let me ask you a question. How much worth is God to you? How much worth is God to you? Sabu najua wakati neno worship in atajwa there are many things that people think about. A story is told of some people who are singing choruses somewhere. And they had been trained that worship is a song that has a slow tempo. So they were singing a song about how the children of Israel 
went into the promised land and they were able to eat the fruit of the promised land. Na hiyo wimbo ilikuwa inaenda walikula matunda walikula matunda and had a quick tempo. Can imagine the drama was sweating it out. Walikula matunda walikula matunda and then the lead singer gestured to the re, to the instrumentally slow it down a bit. We are getting into worship and he said Wali kula matunda na kasema ilo mikono yako sema wali kula matunda na watu wale walikuwa kwa hiyo ibada wakabadilisha sura kwa sababu sasa unajua worship kwa kawaida si vizuri uchangamke you need to have a serious face that shows you are humble enough and that you are focusing on Jesus and then you slow down the tempo to get into the mood. Ajo wengine mnaniangalia kwa alama ya mshangao. But I know we have victims here who have for the longest time thought that worship is the slow song I sang in church on Sunday. So to ki worship ki prolong tunasema hey na leo tuli worship. Na tunajua kwamba praise boka kwa kwa kawaida ni wimbo ule ambao sasa tunajua e e e na changamkeni tukue you know liven up we are now going to move at a faster tempo so we were told by religion that that is what worship is it is a song with a slow tempo like the walikula matunda brethren so for the longest time i grew up with that mindset but there's something called the law of first mention and we're going to see that first time worship is mentioned in the bible we will see whether there was actually a song or not so some interesting uh, statistics um, the word worship is mentioned 503 times in the bible worship in its context is mentioned 503 times but interestingly how worship is to be conducted is mentioned 8629 times so let me ask this question is god particular about how he wants to be worshiped hello is god particular very particular he goes all to the effort of detailing it 8629 times in the bible so where is the word worship first mentioned it is mentioned in the story of faithful abraham na tuwezi ongea story ya imani pasipokutaja baba yetu wa imani ibrahim there's a sunday school song we used to sing father abraham had many sons Many sons so Yeah and there were some some drills. Hiyo song ilikuwa na revelation sana. Ubani ya kwamba tuliacha Sunday school. It was a very deep song. So Abraham is the absolute example of faith when it comes to the Bible. To the extent that even the New Testament refers to Abraham, he is one of the most common figures in the Bible. So we know the story, Abraham Mungu anamuita na anamwambia separate yourself, I am calling you out of your people, your kindred, because Abraham grew up in a place called Ur. Ur is in was in Babylon, later known as Babylonia or Shina and he was called out of there and told leave your people and your kindred and go to a place i will show you now we may dismiss that as i know we've had that over and over and pake mekua cliche lakini abraham his background is this no one in his family is born again no one in his family has been a forerunner he has no pre- precedent case to refer to in as far as issues of Jehovah are concerned he has never had the voice of Jehovah he has never had Jehovah being preached he has not grown up in Sunday school he has grown up in a nation that worships idols 
Idol worship is the order of the day. It is as common as nature itself. Yet Abraham hears a voice speak to him and Abraham is convinced in his heart that he has heard the voice of the living God. And this voice tells him, separate yourself and go and leave this place. Go to a place that I will show you. And Abraham leaves with his wife, with his, his father, and his nephew, Lot. Na naenda, and in the course of time, the walienda mahali panaitu haran, na wakakuwa maapo kidogo, and that's where his father, Terra, died. But later on, God told him, hapa si mahali nilikuitia, I told you, go to a place I will show you, and this is not where I showed you. So Abraham continues his journey, and he later on settles in what was later known as Canaan, or the promised land. Now Abraham, at that point, God begins to speak to him because God speaks in prophetic language. Somebody say prophetic language. In other words, God doesn't follow the January to December calendar like we do. So sisi tunakaribia, tunasema tunakaribia mwisho wa mwaka. So tunasema December 31st. Tunafanya countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Natuna ruka mwaka. Happy New Year. Now God doesn't jump the year. Because God dwells in something called eternity. He is not limited or constricted by space and time. He is infinite. He is not, he is not a finite creature. Meaning you cannot hold him. He is eternal. An eternal being. He says... I am the beginning from the end, the Alpha and the Omega. He says that by his word, everything was formed. So God does not dwell within the sphere of creation. He dwells outside of it. He, is not, he cannot be explained in a scientific lab. That is why some of the most learned people are atheists, because science cannot explain him. The only way you can explain or define this God is through a principle called faith. Because he exceeds human wisdom. To the extent the Bible says, if God were to be foolish, his foolishness would exceed the wisdom of men. So this God of the Bible has been mentioned many times. But I want us to ask ourselves, how big is God? Hallelujah. How big is the God of the Bible? We need to right-size him. Sababu kuna majina in our culture in this generation. Tumegro to kisikia. Few years ago, walimuita fundi wambao. Tukaendelea. Tukamuita big man bazu. Tukaendelea. Wengine wakamuita bazenga. Tukaendelea. Wengine wakamuita fadela. Na hiyo majina yote tukambandika. Lakini butu chunguze tuangalia huyu tunaita fadhela anakaaje. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 24. God is saying this, if you read the second part of that verse, says that I the Lord, I stretch forth the universe by myself. So in other words, ni kama mungu akona bragging rights. Anasema, I stretch forth the universe like a curtain by myself. Jesus. Now let's think about it a little bit. Some of you say stretch for the universe. Haya, I'm not much of a scientist. Lakini ni mejaribu kufanya uchunguzi hapa na pale. Now, unaona vile ulitandika kitanda chako kama ulitandika? Vile unavyo tandika shit yako hivi on the bed. Sasa, mungu, Jehovah anasema mimi na tandaza mbingu. Peke yangu. Bingu inatoshana aje. Sabu tunayusasama bingu ni hitu naonanga usiku. What we look at the stars, we see the starry hosts which are around. On a, com, on a clear night, they say there are around 6,000 stars on average that we see. Now, there is what they call the known and the unknown universe. Na juzi wakagundua, universe inafanya kitu inaitua self-regeneration. It is expanding by itself which is a scientific phenomena 
even the most advanced scientists cannot explain. So the universe is growing. How big is the universe? We are in the solar system. I know I'm dealing with, with learned people than myself, and uh, please forgive me if I make some mistakes here and there. Bear with my ignorance. So, the solar system, the Wanasema has how many stars? Eight stars. Sindio? Hello? Are we in the meeting? Ama kuna watu wamesema, ah, manze, ikitu neja meanza sayansi. No, we are still in scripture. Hallelujah. So they say there are eight planets. When they said Pluto was the ninth, it disappeared. God knows where. So in the eight, among the eight planets, we have the sun as the biggest star. In the solar system. Now, the solar system is a dot. You cannot locate it in the Milky Way galaxy. So, Milky Way galaxy is a conglomeration of stars and planets that it forms a spiral. How big is a galaxy? A galaxy has billions and trillions of stars. What is one billion times one trillion? According to your calculator. I know we have... Kuna mtu nezatoa, maybe just please and give us a quick answer. If your calculator is like mine, inasema wacha kunisumbua. So they say there are, they call it a zillion stars in one galaxy. Now in the Milky Way galaxy, the solar system yuko hapo ndani, where you can locate. Now solar system yuko na stars ngapi? Yuko na eight planets. Eight planets. Earth is one of them. And the sun is the biggest star. How big is the sun? They say to feel the sun's radius would take a million Earths. Uchukwe dunia moja, mbili, tatu, laki moja, laki tano, one million Earths to feel the sun's radius. At from Adam and Eve up to now, the amount of energy created, the sun creates more energy in one second than the amount of energy mankind has produced since Adam and Eve. One nuclear blast from the sun's surface is more energy than all our generators, all our, our, our geothermal plants can generate. That is the sun. It's the biggest star. How many, how many miles is it away from the earth? 93 million miles. And yet they say if we are to travel to the surface of the sun, it would take us 24 years traveling at the speed of light. That is, if you are fortunate enough to get to one million miles, still alive. Now that's the solar system. And then this is what they said. They came up with some telescopes some years ago called the Hubble telescope. It's very powerful. And then it showed Tulikuwa tunadhani all along, Milky Way galaxy ndiyo, the only galaxy. Wakagundua, there are other galaxies in the known and the unknown universe. Guess how many galaxies? Billions of, of galaxies. So my question is, how many stars are there in the universe? So this God says, I, the Lord, I stretch forth the universe like a curtain by myself. So my question is, Huyu tunaita Fadela na Toshana aje. Anasema mimi ninaishi kwa I, the heaven is my throne, the earth is my footstool. So if the heavens are God's throne, and you know there are three heavens, according to Paul's testimony, there is this heaven, it no longer the blue sky, there is outer space, and then there is the third heavens. God knows where that is. That's where he dwells. If he says the heavens are my throne, the earth is my footstool. In old Hebrew culture, there was a stool for wazes. So mzee akingia nyumbani kani mimi, niki keti kwa sofa, I call my wife and tell her, hey, where is my footstool? Nani wakilea miguju. I think it's a good gadget. Eh? <laughs> so God says, footstool yake ni the earth. So how big is God? Psalm 147 verse 4, he says, I call every star in the universe by name. 
meaning he knows every star intimately and, per and personally. I have engraved every name, the names of every human being who has ever lived since Adam and Eve. I've engraved their names on the palm of my hand. So how big is God's hand? And how many people have lived since Adam and Eve? Naona na wasumbua, wacha turudi kwa scripture. So the first time worship is mentioned in the Bible, we see a man here. The Bible says Abraham settled in Canaan. Na akiwa huku Mungu anamuongelesha, God is speaking prophetically. Unajua God anaweza kukuambia kitu saa hizi hailingani na ile circumstance uko kwayo. So God anaweza kukuambia you are very fruitful but you are barren at that current point. Like Joseph begins to tell you you know, the starry hosts will bow down before you. Nations will bow down before you. But you are a last born in a family. You are very insignificant according to human eyes. But God doesn't see and he doesn't use human criteria when he's speaking into your life. God speaks prophetically. Praise the name of the Lord. And today, if we are to worship God aright, we need to see prophetically our spiritual eyes must be opened to behold the glory and the splendor of this God. Hallelujah. So God begins to speak to Abraham. I will bless you. Your children shall be as the sand on the seashore in number, in multitude. Now, the sand on the seashore, one, one, thing, one of the things we know is that you can't count it. It's innumerable. Your, your descendants shall be like the stars of the sky. Big words. Yet Abraham is 75 years old and his wife is 66. So she has gone through what is called the normal cycle of women, Ikaisha. Amepitia menopause, menocoma, menopause stop until there is no more meno. The dental formula is gone. Na Abraham anaskiza God akimwambia hizi hii maneno anaangalia Sarah. Anasema yenyewe mimi ni mwanaume. By all means, I still, I'm still, I'm still potent. Lakini anaangalia Sarah anaona, hmm, uh, God, can you explain the form of a diagram how this is going to be possible? Yet Abraham, the Bible says, believed God. The reason why Abraham is called a father of faith or a picture of faith is because he believed God when it was against hope. It was against science. It was against what was considered normal. Sarah is beyond her cycle. It's impossible for her to conceive, yet Abraham believed. How long was it from the promise to the actualization of the promise? 25 years. I know kuna mtu hapa anasema, aki ni mengojea God. Ni kama ha come through. Now I'm trusting God for bundles. <laughs> and manze, ni kama God has kima on biangu. Thank you very much. Abraham waited for 25 years. Anybody here who's waited for that period of time? Well, probably if we deduct that number of years, we will find ourselves... Uh, we've disappeared. Abraham waited on God 25 years. And then 25 years, God comes through. It is one sunny day, he's sitting outside his tent, and three men are walking. And Abraham perceives these are the angels of the Lord. Because Abraham is a man of faith. How does a man of faith walk? A man of faith builds an altar pitches his tent. So the faith life is not led by the tent. This is a tent. It is led by the altar. So the spirit is what perceived these are the angels of the Lord. And Abraham tells them, hey, hey slow down. Where are you going? Kujeni kwanza ni wachinjie. And God was in a hurry to go and burn Sodom, waited and was hosted by Abraham. 
But to cut the long story short, before God leaves, he speaks a blessing and says, by this time next year, your wife Sarah shall be with a child. And Sarah hears the news when she's inside the tent, Nana Cheka. Because she says, God, you have a sense of humor. Shoshkama Mimi, Nitaenda MCH Clinic, Kupimu Akilo. Na imagine who Shosha Mengia Clinic, your mama wa Joazito. So first the nurses will look at her and say, Eh, Maito, Kai, who did it? Yani Shosh, Kwani Mepotea, now on a Mongolia on a son. Allah, she has a baby bump. Now, if you're a nurse in that ward, you'll probably fall down with a chair, either in laughter or in shock. So, akasimaya mungu ni mengi. True to God's word, one year later, Isaac is born. And here comes Isaac. Na Abraham na mwangalia naona, wow, huyu kijana ni wangu kabisa. The son of promise, who sees umbua kama Ishmael. Na nakangalia naona, yu mapua ni yangu. Hei, yu mapua ni ya baba. Una vile kana bounce. So, Isaac has reached adolescence. And then God comes to Abraham and says to test him. And says, Abraham, Abraham, give us advice. Genesis 22 verse 1. Abraham, Abraham. And Abraham replies and says, here I am. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Abraham, Abraham, here I am. The journey of true worship hasn't begun until God gets you. I know you came to church, but let me ask you a question. It may sound like an oxymoron. Do you have God or does God have you? Nisaidia kuliza jirani yako. Do you have God? Or does God have you? Abraham, Abraham. Abraham says, here I am. In other words, that is a word saying, Lord, here I am. I am available to do your will. I am available to worship you. I am available as a living sacrifice. So does God, do you have God or does God have you? And then God says, I want you to sacrifice your son. Sababu mungu anatujua sana haku yacha hapo. Sababu angeyacha hapo kumikuwa na shida. Sababu Abraham ni mwanaume. Kama sisi. Na angeangalia yaone. Kijana gani naweza sacrifice. Ah, kuna sumbua pa naitua Ishmael. Uyu sinashida, naweza mtoa. Haraka upesi. But God gets specific and says, I want you to sacrifice to me your son. Your only son. Now God was speaking about the son of the promise. Si ule son mwingine wakujaribu hukonje. The son of the promise. I want you to give me your son whom you love. And then Abraham, the Bible says, took Isaac and took two of his servants, saddled the donkey and began a three-day journey to a place called Moriah. I'm guessing this was an undercover mission because Sarah mevkuvumilia. Kwanza alivumilia ukimwambia maneno crazy ati tutoke huku kwetu tuende mahali haujui amekuvumilia that far sasa unamtaka kumwambia huu mtoto amengojea for 25 years sasa tumtoe kama sacrifice ati ni Jehovah amesema Sarah angemwambia MZ please tusizoyane hata kama nimekuvumilia for those 25 years you are not going to take this son of promise and and burn him so I'm thinking it was an undercover mission. Abraham tells, tells Isaac, shh, Zambia, mom. Why did you talk? And they live under the cover of darkness. Now I want you to begin to imagine what was in Abraham's heart and in his spirit when he was taking this three-day journey. 
I know we have worship leaders here. How would you behave if you are Abraham? How would you live? Tunaweza mwambia Abraham by the way. Ah, kuna song hapa imetokea juzi inaitwa withholding nothing. Hiyo ukiimba aki utasikia uko na mood ya kutoa Isaac. Hiyo imba tu, imba tu alafu repeat that part withholding nothing. Utasikia ume get into the mood ya kutoa Isaac. Ama kuna nyingine inaitwa all to Jesus I surrender hiyo Abraham hiyo hiyo ni asarenda hiyo hata utasikia uchungu kitoa Isaac shocking stuff Abraham had no song how heavy was the heart of this man he's waited on God for 25 years and then the only thing he has waited on God for finally has come and then God wants him to offer it So Abraham takes a three day journey anapokaribia Moriah anaambia his servants kaeni hapa I and the boy shall go up to worship Hallelujah So the first time the word worship is mentioned in the Bible there is no mention of a keyboard There is no mention of BGVs for for Abraham There is no mention of lights There was no fog machine. <laughs> There were no cords to get him Abraham. Ask him, "Yes, Lord. This is a moment." Abraham ascends up the hill because the place of true worship is a place of death to self. It's a place of death. Which is why the Bible says that God is spirit and those that worship must worship in spirit and in truth for these are the kind of worshipers the father seeks sasa tafadhali explain to me how is it possible el shaddai which is one of the names of god el meaning god or lord shaddai means sufficient so it means jehovah is all sufficient how is it that the all sufficient god amepungukiwa na kitu Yet the Bible says in John chapter 4 verse 23 that this that the El Shaddai the, the God who owns everything seeks for something and the, that word seek means looking for something diligently So inakuambia kitu inaitwa true worshiper ni kitu ambayo haipatikani kwa urahisi Tunaweza kuwa na sauti nyororo sisi ni waimbaji wale ambao tunasema eh waimbaji wale bazu <laughs> ati sauti zinatoa nyoka kwa shimo na kuna wale ambao wanatoa joyful noise na nyoka inasema acha nikae tu kwa shimo sitatoka it's a safer place here in the in the hall but yet tunaweza kuwa tumejaa kwaya na Mungu anasema i'm still looking i'm seeking for true worshipers Abraham tells his servants kaeni hapa I and the boy shall go up because the place of death the, nobody can worship God for you your pastor can't worship God for you the worship leader can't worship God for you the place of true worship is a place you can only go alone and is a place of total death to self so Abraham ascends up the mountain na kiwa hapo juu ya mlima there are only three things a man called Abraham a man available for God a man obedient to the instructions of God because true worship hasn't begun until we are at the place of obedience and then in front of Abraham is an altar on top of the altar is the most precious thing in the life of Abraham So Abraham stands and in front of him is the altar. Now in the new covenant what is the altar? The altar is our hearts. The Bible says that our bodies have become the temple, the dwelling place. So the Holy Spirit dwells, he indwells every child of God. So our altar is the heart. So God above everything 
desires our hearts to be placed. Our hearts to be the altar from which we offer sacrifices. The Bible says living. Living sacrifices. That's why the Bible calls the church living stones. So, Mungu hako so much interested in the outer service before he gets your heart. Because the heart is what he looks at. This God doesn't look at the outward appearance. He looks at the heart condition. What is your heart posture? As you sing the song, Genesis, Je Jeremiah chapter 17 says, I the Lord search the heart. I try the motives. Yani kabla huja kuja kuimba hiyo song, mungu alikuwa sha chunguza moyo wako mahali uko. Na kumkata mflani nilikuwa mahali na nilikuwa naimba hile song, I surrender all to you. And because we've been in that environment, man is a creature of habit, so you get used to certain things. So kwa kimba, withholding nothing, withholding nothing. When I came off the stage, I had the Holy Spirit speak to me and say, <laughs> it was like a question, withholding nothing? And I remembered something the Lord asked me to bless somebody with. And it postpone. So Lord, I'm talking to you, withholding nothing? And it kind of kutubu, and it can be a bona, and it's a mehe for singing a lie. So many times we sing lies because it's possible to sing a lie the same way you tell a lie. Na iza imba ni seme, ni wewe tu, bwana, ni wewe tu. Natuweke vibrato hapo. Lakini mwe unasema, siyo wewe tu, bwana, siyo wewe tu. Kuna wengi, bwana, kuna wengi. So God in his holy heaven says, yeah, get it over and done with. <laughs> get it over and done with. Abraham stands in front of him is the altar. So the altar of our hearts, how is our heart posture? We have come to a worship night, but how is our heart's posture when we sing to this God? And he says, on top of that altar was a sacrifice. And what was the sacrifice? The most treasured thing in this man's life. The son of promise. In the new covenant, what is the sacrifice we bring? Romans 12 and verse 1. Brethren, I beseech you by the mercy of God that you present. Presenting means willfully present to the God of all grace. This God who has paid the price to purchase you. What is your response to this God who has loved you those, this much is to willfully present your body and say, have it all. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. Some versions say, for this is your first act of worship. So, kabla nisijaletea God wimbo, mwili wangu ni wa, okay, I've given my body to him as a living sacrifice. All my members have become instruments of righteousness. It means that these eyes are instruments for righteousness. It means that my thought life is governed by the Holy Spirit. Now listen to me, I'm not talking about sinless perfection. I'm talking about a life of striving. Paul says, after I have preached, what do I do? I beat my body. Now that is a it is a military term. He says, I discipline my body. Naweka kiasi. In other words, after umehubiria watu, after umehudumia watu, you have to subject yourself to certain disciplines for you to please he, the, the commander who has recruited you into the army. So when we say, I have presented my body, it means God has all of you. Shida ni hii. Ya kwamba, Tunaweza kuwa tuko tunajiita worshipers ndio. Tunaweza kuwa tuko na sauti nyororo ndio. Lakini kuna zile tunasema ni gray areas in our Christian walk. Maeneo ambayo haijatawaliwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hello. Praise the name of the Lord. I can be here and I'm a worship leader. But what I do with my personal and leisure time 
becomes a gray area for, the, for Satan to dominate. So it means I'm not able to walk in total victory. What is wrong with the church of today? It's not a shortage of, of songs. It's not a shortage of technology. But it is a shortage of true worshipers. We have grown up having a dichotomous view of Christianity. So many kiwa mtok, kiwa mchanga, niligro ni kiona mzae, tukienda na e church. Naona tumefika church, na alikuwa na sigara, na izimi abu. Naona metuwa kofia. Eh, naona mzae. Naona meka humble. Tunaingia kwa uwepo wa mungu church. Tukitoka, naona merudisha kofia. Naona anatembea. Bile utembea. Naona mewasha kasigara tena. So ni kagroni kiona, oh church ndipo God huishi. Huku nje tunabihave, tunacheza kaa sisi. So kakua dichotomy. Church, humble. Outside, we are ourselves. Dichotomous Christianity has weakened and diluted the impact of the church today. Hallelujah. Speaking to a friend of mine who was saying, you know, me, me, I believe in social drinking. Just makunyo tu lakini kiasi. Kasema, okay, good for you. Dichotomous Christianity. So if you have a gray area in your walk with God, if there is an area you are a Christian, you are born again, I love coming to church. I love the fellowship. But for example, I love watching horror movies. I'm a Christian, but I'm also a flat. I'm a Christian, but you know, when it comes to dressing, I mean, excuse me, we are in the 21st century. It's my dress, my choice. So gray areas which the enemy uses so that we're not able to completely experience the victory of God in our lives. The Bible says when the children of Israel were rudy, walianza kurudi after they were taken away into captivity by the Assyrians. Kuna wale wambao wali rudi to the to Israel. Alafu wakasema kuna watu wali rudi na hakuwa Israelites wakanza kuleta their forms of worship into Israel. And because of that, the land was defiled and God sent lions and started eating them. Why? Because they were combining the worship of Jehovah and the worship of idols. Back to the story of Abraham, as I come concluding. So in front of Abraham is an altar. Here stands a man. On top of the altar is a sacrifice. So let me say this. For true worship to begin, those three things must first be there. A man, a willing, available, obedient vessel. Number two, an altar. And you say the altar that God looks at is the altar of our hearts. That is where we offer sacrifices to him. So worship is from the inside out, not from the outside in. So when I sing the songs, the words of the songs, they come from a place of witness. And I say, withholding nothing, there is a witness in my spirit that agrees with those words. I have come from a place of being broken by God to know and to acknowledge that he is my everything. So when I sing those words, it must come from a place where my heart agrees. The meditation of my heart and the words of my mouth, they are in a perfect agreement. Praise the name of the Lord. And it says on top of the altar was a sacrifice. Our bodies must be living sacrifices, everything in our bodies. It means that this tongue which blesses God must also bless men. This tongue, James asks, Nanasema, how can with this tongue you bless men, you bless God who you don't see, and you curse men? Nanauliza, how is it possible that a fountain can bring forth sweet water and bitter water at the same time? Chemi chemi inazaji toa majumatamu na machungu at the same time. Mungu anauliza. 
Naimbaje? Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. Alafu nikitoka, naweza jaita jirani yangu yu. Ngombe wewe. With the same tongue, the same fountain is blessing God and it's cursing men. Then he says that that fountain is defiled. So Abraham is he's on the mountain. He's alone. There's nobody motivating Abraham. There's no, there no song. There's no choir. Thank God today we have chords. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know how Pengine worship him mge 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 test watu wakuje kwanza mseme leo hatuna viombo we are worshiping god a cappella i tell you the truth wale wangebaki wangeitwa true worshipers <laughs> so abraham is on the mountain na kona kisu he is about to kill his most beloved thing for your information, wale mba wanasema, ah, Abraham alikuwa, na, alikuwa anachocha. Ati alikuwa meshika kisu, anambia mungu, ha, ha, nitamkata, nitamkata, good. <laughs> Simches. The Bible says, Abraham was about to kill the boy. The angel prevented him. If you read your Bible in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 17, it says, Abraham actually believed. If he killed Isaac, God was able to resurrect him. That is why he is called a man of faith. So for worship to begin, God must have those three things. A man. A man available, willing, submitted. A man who is a vessel. A man consecrated. A man separated from the corruption around him. Yani kuna, kuna blessing fulani ya mungu uwezi ipata ukiwa kwa mazingara fulani. Lazima God akutoe kwa certain environment for you to be able to receive from him. So for some of us here, it will call for us being separated from our people and kindred and from our traditions. Because I cannot say, I am a son of God. To naming my children. Naruka, natoka kwa Kristo na ingia kwa ogekoyo. So naita watoto wangu kulingana na ogekoyo. Si kulingana na the culture of heaven. So kuna aina ya baraka huwezi pata. Kuna kutembea na mungu huwezi tembea na ee. Ukiwa kwa mazingara fulani. So God separate a vessel for him to be able to deposit himself, his life into that vessel. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Lift your right hand and say this. Say, I refuse. To be a victim of my culture. I purpose to honor you in my generation. Save me from all that holds me back. From living a life that pleases you. In Jesus' name. So finish. The word worship means shaka. In the Old Testament, it means shaka. Shaka means to prostrate oneself. So, mahali popote unona the word worship imetajwa in the Old Testament. Na imetajwa a number of times. First Chronicles 29 and verse 20. King David, he's been king in Israel. And now he is grateful to God for establishing him as king. And before he exits the scene, he calls the entire nation and he blesses them. He blesses them. He gives thanks to God and he blesses the entire nation. And when he does that, how, is the, how does the nation respond? They prostrate themselves. So the word worship in the Old Testament meant prostrating oneself. Don't get it twisted. Worship in the New Old Testament haikuwa inamanisha kufanya hivi.
Nuko mahali watu walikuwa mba ainuliwe Mungu wetu leo ainuliwe bwana wa mabwana At lift up your hands unaona worship leader is huffing and puffing and sweating akiambia watu inuani mikono cha men very heavy hands it's called a casual worship no no what talking about I surrender. Oh. Everything. If you are God in heaven, will you receive that worship? In a zombie praise. Already you can see from the expression it's not coming from a place of truth. It is called going through the motions. Hallelujah. But may God raise true worshipers in this place. You shall not worship like God's prefect. You shall worship as a truly yielded vessel. You won't care who is next to you. It's you and the audience of one. So they prostrated themselves. Another verse you can read in your own time, Ezekiel 1:28, the angel of the Lord, which is a it was an appearance of Jesus Christ before the incarnation. He appears before Ezekiel. Please learn from the Old Testament saints. Wakati wote walipokea ujumbe kutoka kwa malaika, hata wacha Yesu. Hakuna mtu alikuwa amesimama hivi. Look at Joshua. Joshua is a man of war. He sees the angel and the first thing he does is prostrate himself because of the glory of the Lord. He kusimama kwingi na ku pocket ni kwa sababu glory haiko. Huh? Wana watu wako watu wako tu wana pocket people are casual is because we have not experienced the glory of God. Second is it second chronicles Five, it talks about the dedication of the Solomonic temple. And when they were dedicating the, the temple, the priests, the glory, the glory cloud fell, the Shekinah of God fell, and the priests fell prostrate. They couldn't continue ministering because of the glory, the weight. The word glory in the scripture means weight. Sasa niulizem. Sababu wadu nasema, God come, shuka hapa, shuka roho na utakaso. Tuko tayari akishuka sababu akishuka anashuka na uzito na niulize hivi Mungu ni wa kilo ngapi akishuka yako ibadilike Ambia jirani yako uwezi baki hivi hivi ni aje tunakuona tuwe uko tu kawaida na unasema tumeona hapa uki, ukisema vitu vizito eh? you should not remain the same I tell you the truth when the glory cloud falls there are things in your life that will not remain the same Hallelujah So God is raising true worshipers As I finish let me say this true worship begins when we go beyond experience to expression So for true worship to begin we must go beyond our experiences we must go beyond rituals we must go beyond routine to expression what is worship it is an attitude of the heart a person can go through outward motions and not be worshiping psalm 51:16 and verse 17 matthew 6 and verse from verse 5 to 6 are these men drawn near to me with their mouths, but their hearts are far? Those were the people in Jesus' day. And today, it's, religion has taught many to, to play that trick, to speak words which are not coming from the heart. God sees the heart, and he desires and deserves sincere, heartfelt praise and worship. Now listen to me. I want to touch a bit on praise as I finish. 
So worship, on the other hand, comes from a different place within our spirits. Worship should be reserved for God alone. Say God alone. And you can see that in Luke 5, 4 and verse 8. Worship is the art of losing self in the adoration of another. Praise, however, is the joyful recounting of all God has done for us. It is a recounting. So when you say you're praising God, you are recounting. You are having a vivid memory. You are not suffering from something called spiritual amnesia. You can remember. This is what God has done. It comes from a thankful heart. Praise is universal and can be applied to many things, not just to God. Praise can be praise for family, praise for spouse, praise for friends, and etc. Psalms 18 and verse 3 says, Since God has done many wonderful things, he is worthy of praise. And finally, a new song. The Bible says that the, the 24 elders and the four living creatures sang a new song in heaven to the Lamb. What does a new song mean? It doesn't mean the latest song that came out yesterday. A new song means, is referring to masses that are ever new. The masses of the Lord are continually being renewed. A new song can be explained as an excellent song. Listen to what they say. You are worthy. Now, you are worthy was a, Roma, was a greeting that the Romans offered. Whenever a general or a dignitary would come in, they would greet him with these words. They were Latin words. They would say, very dignus means you are worthy. So it means that, Lord, you are the dignitary here. So Jesus, you are the dignitary in this worship night. So when we say you are worthy, it is a dignified greeting. It is an expression of awe and adoration. Here, the new song honors the price of our redemption. So there is no true worship, there is no new song without recognizing our redemption. It says, for you are slain. True worship acknowledges the finished work of Jesus on the cross. The song honors the work of our redemption. It says, you have redeemed us. The song honors the destination of our redemption. It says, we have redeemed us to God, so we know our destination. That we are headed to heaven, where worship shall be at 24 hours, 7 days a week, forever and ever and ever. The new song honors the payment of our redemption by your blood. So to say, Simama hapa mbele ya watu, Si kwa sababu tunapoimba mbele za Bwana sio kwamba sisi tunafaa ni kwa sababu sisi tumelipiwa gharama ya thambi kupitia msalaba na kupitia damu ya mwana kondo Bwana Yesu asifiwe Then he says the new song it sees the scope of our redemption it says every tribe tongue people and nation in other words the blood of Jesus has bought every tribe, every tongue, every nation. The new song honors the length of our redemption. It says he has made us kings and priests to our God. The new song honors the result of our redemption. Why have we been redeemed? That we may reign with Jesus in the millennium. We are going to reign with Jesus. Shout hallelujah. We are going to reign with Jesus in Jerusalem. When he comes back for the millennium, we will reign with him. If you are a child of God here, you shall reign with Jesus as a king and as a priest. Hallelujah. I want us to stand on our feet tonight.
And aunt, I would just humbly request us to raise our hands to the Lord. Raising our hands is not a religious thing we do. It is a sign of surrender. So when we raise our hands to the King of glory, it's a mark of saying, the Lord, I yield myself. Because the journey of true worship is a journey of daily yieldedness. It's a life of daily death. In other words, we die to the world daily. We die to self daily. We run away. We refuse temptation daily. So just lift your hands to Jesus. Close your eyes. And I want you to think about your walk with him. Does, do you have God or does God have you tonight? Do you have God or does God have you tonight? Father, we worship you. I want you to just meditate and think about the price of your redemption. Because true worship must have the scope of the cross. When we think about the Lord, how he saved me, how he raised me, from the death, from the Mary clay, and he set my feet upon the rock. I have every reason to be grateful. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I surrender myself again. I know I've sung songs in the past, but forgive me for the many times I've sung songs without meaning them. I've said words, but they didn't come from a place of witness. But tonight, Lord, Help me. Help me by your Holy Spirit. For it is only you who can work in me to will and to do your will. Yes, Father, you say you are looking for true worshippers in this our day, in this our generation. You who is the creator of the universe. You who owns everything. The earth and the fullness thereof belongs to you, Lord. You who owns cattle on a thousand hills. How is it, Lord, that you are searching you are seeking for true worshippers. Oh God, would you find them in this place. Oh God, would you raise me to be a true worshipper. Raise me to be a true worshipper. To go beyond the words of the music. To go beyond the, the, the wonderful chords. To go to the place of expression. That Lord, when I say it, it comes from my heart. When I sing it, it comes from my, my experience. My experience of you. Oh yes, Lord, you are looking for a man who will raise a true altar from their hearts. A man who is ready and willing. A man who is available. A man who is obedient to do your will. May you find that man in me tonight. May you find that man in a man and a woman in this place tonight. Oh God, we surrender. We surrender. We go beyond the words of the music, Lord. Tonight we bring more than a song. We bring more than a song. We bring ourselves. Tunaleta mioyo yetu. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bring us to the place, to the secret place. When the music fades And all is stripped away And I simply come Longing just to bring Something that's of worth That will bless your heart I'll bring you more than a song For a song in itself Is not what you have required Lord, you search much deeper 
Search much deeper within And through the way things appear You're looking into my heart I'm coming back Coming back to the heart of worship Where it's all about you it's all about you, G. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I made it. When it's all about you, it's all about you. Sing, I'm coming back. I'm coming back to the heart of what. Where it's all about, it's all about you, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord, I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I made. Where it's all about you, it's all about you, it's all about. Lift your hands and say, it's all about you It's all about you Sing it's all about you It's all about you In my life, Lord, it's all about you It's all about you It's all about you it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Lord. It's all about you, Lord. It's all about you. Jesus, be the center. Be the center of our hearts. Be the center of the sacrifices that we give. Be the center of our service. Be the center of our giving. Be the center of our relationships. For it's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about. Raise your voice and say. Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us clap for God. Uh, let us celebrate Jesus for what He has done for the teachings, for the preaching. Amen. Praise God. I want us to go to another session. And I request the music team to prepare themselves so that they come when they are strong. Please, if you want to walk out, please you walk now so that you don't walk uh, in the next minutes. Amen. Now, I want us to stretch ourselves, please. Make sure you free yourself. Free yourself. Uh, we are about to get to the climax. If there is anybody who is sleeping kindly, uh, I would love you to wake them up. Yes, yes, yes. I hope the band is ready. I also request some, some guys to arrange uh, these microphones so that they are in order. What? The one who was Jackson, you can organize that. Praise God. How many have been blessed this night to not worship? Amen. Amen. True worship, true worship. True worship involves you 
You are the living sacrifice. True worship involves your willingness, your obedience. True worship involves your genuineness. I'm a truth. Amen? And that worship in, in truth. Pia hii ni kama tutaitaji. This one. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ume stretch. Sijaona, sijaona, sijaona. Fanya hivi, fanya hivi. I want you to be free to be free for the next sessions. Yes. Band mnaweza tuambia kama mko ready we want to hear something being played there at least as they stretch. Accompany us please band not mnatoa company mtupe accompaniment kindly. Yes, you also test your instruments. Amen, 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 amen. Yes. Awe ngine wote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we continue to stretch ourselves. Praise God. Iyo ni akukuamusha kama umelala. I want us to be upstanding. As we welcome them, to talk what in a dance. Ah, uh, those unique, common dances, they will be coming. Sawa sawa. To pick up my coffee simple one, this direction. You give it left, huh? the other side. Make sure you use this one to stretch yourself. Make sure you are free. Hallelujah, Chene. Wewe ufanyi wewe. Siku wani ukifaya. Si tu pigas ma confiance bien. Ma confiance à Dieu, ma confiance. Au pardon. Quand on m'guide, tu n'as pas de band, tu n'as pas de music ministry. Aya peperu chevi. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To win away, yes, to win away. for you Wewe usiache nyuma Usiache nyuma Inua 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 Yesu inua 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 Yesu inua 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 Yesu inua Everybody inua Inua, inua, Yesu zaidi. Inua, 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 Yesu inua, 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 Yesu. Pemberu 
kurusha mikono yako upande kwa upande haleluya 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 shangwe na vigelegele kwa yesu 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 sikusiki vigelegele kwa yesu Vigelegele kwa Yesu we Fanya mikono hivi Chini Chu 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 Haleluya 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 Fique Aya sawa Nasikia dance nya kulala Shika hivi Shika hivi Tene Ini pole 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 Usia chenyuma e Usia chenyuma e Kuna mtu hezi koordinate kidogo kidogo Tunakuona Tunakuangalia Aya tunana turuke chu turuke chu Tunane Wapi shangwe na vigele gele kwa Yesu Hallelujah Buwana sifiwe Praise the Lord I want you at the count of three Ambia your neighbor at the count of three The walls of Jericho were brought down by a shout Hallelujah The children of Israel They knew how to shout Tell your neighbor you are going to teach them a lesson today Hallelujah. So in the count of three, I want you to give Jesus a mighty shout of victory. Somebody ready? One, two, three. Shout! Come on, shout! Give a shout! Is that your Jesus? Is that your Jesus? You can give him a shout of praise. You can give him a shout of glory. Where are the praises of Jesus? Hallelujah. We are going to praise him with a new song. Bona sifiwe. Tunasema. Wewe ni mfalme. Bona. Wewe ni bwana. Wewe ni mfalme. Sema. Wewe ni bwana. Wewe ni bwana. Wewe ni mfalme. Wewe ni bwana. Wewe ni bwana. Si tumeshika. Tumeshika. Are you ready to praise him with a dance? Haya, twende sasa.
Bwana asifiwe. Haya. Twende hivi. Put an attitude everybody. Put a swag to your dance. Twende. Haya. Wape shangwe na vigele gele kwa Yesu. Hallelujah. Oh. Hey, twende. Come on. We winning for me. We winning bwana. Hey. We winning bwana. Amekuwa mfalme maishani sema. Hey. We winning bwana. Hey. We winning bwana. We winning for me. We winning bwana. We winning bwana. We winning for me. Alpha na Omega, one so ten na muisho. Uli umba pasi we kuba. Bingu ni niki ticha kuchayezi. Utawala wakoni wa milele. Kuimba tuta imba, kucheza tuta cheza. Kuimba tuta imba, tuki sema we ni bwana. Aha, kuimba tuta imba, kucheza tuta cheza. Kuimba tuta imba, tuki sema we we ni falme. Haya, twende. Are you feeling the song? Twende. We we ni falme. We we ni bwana. Falme, eh, where we need Buana, where we need Buana, where we need Falme, eh, where we need Buana, where we need Buana, what be some when I begin again a quiet? Come on, where is your dance? Where is your dance? Nipitapo kwenye bonde la mauti Sita ogopa, mana wewe uko nambi Gongo lako, na vimbo yako Sani fariji, hata milele Na maisha umenimba, nipa Kuchi nitapika, kwa ulimi nitasema Sema, wewe ni mfalme Maisha umenipa, nipa We win in Fame, we win in Buana, we win in Buana, we win in Fame, we win in Buana, we win in Buana, we win in Fame, we win in Buana, we win in Buana, watch out in your height. Watch out in your height. Sema. Watch out in your height. Kim Sifu Bwana. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Kim Sifu Bwana. You know what we're going to do now? Watch out in your height. Kim Sifu, yes. Watch out in your height. And take me to F. Take me to F. Wapi shangwe na vigele gele kwa bwana Yesu. Are you ready to dance for him? Are you ready? Wapi shangwe na vigele gele. One, two, three. Come on. Bwana wa mabwana. Bwana wa mabwana. Bwana wa mabwana.
Bwana ainua Bwana wa mabwana anabariki watu wake wote Bwana wa mabwana Bwana wa bwana Bwana wa mabwana Wapisha bwana vigele gele 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 Wapi milolo 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 ya Yesu Come on Baba e eh, baba baba e eh, baba baba e eh. One more time. Hey. Wapi mi lolo mi lolo mi lolo mi lolo mi lolo mi lolo mi lolo. Come on, cheese Jesus. Tatu ambi unam cheese anani. Come on, cheese. One, two, three. Tu mu inuwe e. Tu mu. Kila mtu sema e. Amefanya makuu Lift him higher Tumwinu we minu we minu we minu we minu we This side Tumwinu we yesu Tumwinu we As our theme is from 
Revelation 5, verse 9, and they sang a new song. No one was seen worthy except our Lord God. Praise God. So we want to sing a new song, a song of praise, a song of thanksgiving, a song of joy. Um, yeah, if, if you have a new song in your heart, if you feel like God has done so much for you, you can just praise Him uh, with this song. So in Enda Ivi, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tunaimba wimbo mpya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wimbo wa milele. Just a simple song lakini ya kuabudu na shukrani. Kwa maana hakuna mwingine alipatikana worthy to break the seal. Lakini Mungu wetu anayestahili our redeemer he is seated on his throne and astahili sifa na utukufu praise god amen, amen.
favor e celebrar Jesus. Aleluia. Porque a sifa não te cufu, Bona. You have given us a new song and we worship you, Jesus. We give you all the glory and adoration in the name of Jesus. Baba, una sahili e shima na utukufu, Bona. Jehovah, how fananishu na yeyote mfalme wa falme. Jesus, we praise you, King of glory. In the highs and in the lows, we choose to worship you. Because, Father, you took the risk on our behalf. Jesus, you took the risk on my behalf. I worship you. Hey, I choose to walk by you in the name of Jesus. I choose to worship you at all times, God. I choose to adore you, Holy Spirit of God. I choose to worship you in all seasons. I choose to worship you in all circumstances in the name of Jesus. Baba una sahili eshima na utukufu. Baba wewe ni Mungu wa majabu hakuna kama wewe. Reka la la maboshi yetelele maboshi ye. Rike telele maboshi anta la la mabo. Reka la la maboshi yetelele mabasi. Jesus I choose you king of glory. I choose you Jesus. Hey. Jesus I choose you. Oh, I choose you Jesus. I choose you Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mm. Thank you Jesus. Adi misha jina lake Bwana. Eh. Adi misha jina lake Yesu. Moyo wangu kuhimidi kila saa. Moyo wangu kuhimidi kila wakati Yesu. Roho wangu ameifanya ibada moyoni mwangu Yesu. Eh. Jesus, we worship you, God. Roho ako mwenyezi amenifanya jinsi nilipyo Pumzi ako uhai wangu Umefufua mifupa mikavu Uhai umeni baba bayangu Umetuliza doruba Wakati wa mawimbi Moyo wangu Na ukuinuwe kila wakati Nafsi yangu iko himidi kila saa Moyo wangu na ukuinuwe kila wakati Nafsi yangu iko himidi kila saa Moyo wangu Moyo wangu Ukuinuwe kila wakati Ukuinuwe kila wakati E moyo wangu Moyo wangu Yesu Na Yesu nasi yangu Nasi yangu Yesu Ni ma 
Fariji Yesu Bado wazidi kuwa yule rafiki mwema Bado wazidi kuwa yule alfa na omega Wazidi kuwa mponyaji Wazidi kuwa jehova yeah! We worship Wazidi kuwa mungu Unazidi kuwa mungu Yesu 
Yes, we shall sing to you, no matter the situation, oh God. I want to encourage everyone here. I know we have been through seasons. We have been through things that we cannot even tell people. We have been through some pains that even our parents cannot even understand. We have experienced pain. We have a heart. Some of us have faced lack. Some of us have gone without food for days. And yet here we are. And yet here we are. Bwana umeli ruhusu jaribu linipate. Lakini jaribu halikuniwa. Jaribu halikuniwa bwana. Jaribu halikuniwa. Why don't you lift up your hands high and thank the Lord. That though I went through that season of pain, though I went through that season of luck, though I went through that season of disease, oh God, here I am in your presence to thank you. Bwana umeruhusu jaribu litupate, ila jaribu halikutua. Oh, come on somebody, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for his faithfulness. Ni wengi walikuwa katika hali kama zetu, hawa kutoboa. Lakini sisi tuko hapa. Oh. Bwana umenipima. Tena umenijari. Kama ijaribi wavyo Dabu Umenipitisha majini Umenipitisha motoni Wala siku teketea Na wala siku zama Bwana umenipima Zigo gani naweza kubeba Jaribu ulilonipa Ulijua naliweza Umeriruhusu jaribu Linipate, linichege Hukuriruhusu jaribu Liniuwe Meriruhusu jaribu Lini pate Lini che Ukuriruhusu jaribu Bwana Lini uwe Umeriruhusu Umeriruhusu jaribu Lini pate Lini che Ukuriruhusu Ukuriruhusu jaribu Chakula ukanipa buwana Nilikuwa nimeona na angamia buwana Mukono wako wakulia ukanipa 
wanishika marafiki waliniacha wazazi wakanikimbia ulipa kimwaminifu bwana Jaribu linipate bali alijaniwa Asanti Yesu Asanti Yesu Umeriruhusu umeriruhusu jaribu linipate liniche Ukuriruhusu jaribu I don't you lift your hands high Umeri ruhusu Umeri ruhusu jari Nilipate Niliche Bwana ukuli ruhusu Ukuli ruhusu jari The Bible says That gold is refined by fire And some of us the Lord has put you through things Right now you may not understand them but he's refining you to be gold. Gold without dross. If you believe you are being refined by the Lord, lift up your voice and ask for the grace to persevere, the grace to overcome. Hey, Father, we receive the grace to push through, the grace to overcome. Yes, Lord, we receive the grace to overcome trials and temptations. Lord, we receive the grace in the name of the Lord. Let's not forget who pack on pia, who pack on pia, who pack on pia, who pack on pia. In the name of the Lord, we shall go through the school of the wilderness. We shall not be overcome. In the name of the Lord. Share. One more time. Umeri rusu, umeri rusu. Come on, church, you can sing with us. Umeri Rusu, Umeri Rusu, Jari, Rusu, One more time. Oh, Umeri Rusu, Hallelujah. 
Bwana sifiwe. Bwana sifiwe. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. To some of us, we call him Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider. Some of us, we call him Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer. Tonight, we want to call him our father. Hallelujah. Yeye ni baba yetu. Hallelujah. Tony. Jina la 
And the book of Psalms chapter 40 and verse 5, it, it tells us that many are the things that the Lord has done, that the plans that he has, we cannot recount them to him, that if we were to speak and tell of them, they will be to declare. And this moment I want us to sing a song of thanksgiving. God has done something or he has fulfilled something that you had long awaited for. Sindio, Vanessa was if you so to not to not take a tumpe shukrani quayoti and boy about to tend and a quayale at a ten. Vanessa was if you were.
Come on, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Baba, we find your mambo ya chabu. We find your mambo makubwa na yesu. We find your mambo ya na unaweza yote bona wa. I worship you, Jesus, and I give you all the praises. I want to teach you a new song. You know, the Lord says. Seek and you shall find. So now I want us to tell the Holy Spirit of God to come down. So for those who have been desiring to be, have an overflow of the Holy Spirit, this is the time to tell him to come down. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because when the Holy Spirit comes upon your life, you only need to desire. You only need to desire. Yeah, you only need to desire. Nataka tuombe kwamba neema yake ishuke sasa na upako wako ushuke bwana baba tumeabudu bwana Yesu tumeabudu tutakase pale ambapo tumekosea bwana wangu ili bwana wa majeshi ukainuliwe siku ya leo baba turehemu tuhuishe bwana na naomba kwamba bwana Yesu roho mtakatifu ashuke Jamin you only need to desire the holy spirit he is a friend you only need to desire him. Eh, lele baboshe. You only need to desire the Holy Spirit. Mwambie moyo wako, moyo wako unamhitaji. Moyo wako unamhitaji ili ufanane na wewe. Ili ufanane na yeye. Hallelujah. Baba tunakuhitaji. Neema yako naishuke baba. Eh. Hey. Nema yako na ishuke bwana. Eh hey, Yesu, Jesus we want to feel your presence in overflow. Jesus we want to experience you in overflow in the name of Jesus. By your mercy that the cross Jesus. Please feel your people in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit please come and descend upon your people. Holy Spirit we let our heart be at your disposal Holy Spirit of God. By the mercy that the cross in the name of Jesus. Jesus, please come and fill your people in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we worship you. Yes, it is you, God. It is you, Jesus. Ah, we need you, Lord.
maishani mwako Yesu tunakutamani Elisha, what should we do, Master? And Elisha prayed to God that he would open the eyes of Gehazi, that Gehazi would see. And the Lord opened the eyes of Gehazi. And Gehazi saw that they were surrounded with such a great army that was more than the army that was surrounding them. Hallelujah. And so, I want us to tell God that to me pakwa, hallelujah, that we have been anointed with the fresh oil. To me pakwa na roo mtakatifu, walio upande wetu ni wengi kuliko wale. Wana ame hino pembe yetu, ame tupako mafuta mabichi.
Celebrate Jesus once more. Taka tu mwambi ana weza buana spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Meza songa tu pole pole. Wawo ni vijana wakichezea buwana Aleluya Ah, 
Aleluya. morning to join the seraphims and the cherubims as we sing holy to God. Our God is holy and if he is holy you cannot approach him when you still have sin and as this morning as we surrender to him as we approach to we join the cherubims and the seraphims and the 24 elders as we enter the holy of holies as we declare that Jesus you are Lord it is you that saved us it is you that gave us life it is you that restored us when we were sick it is you that healed us when we were bound it is you that delivered us and we have all reasons to join and declare that God you are holy come on just open up your mouth and declare that God, you are holy, and no one can be like you. No other God can try to be compared to you because of who, of who you are, what you have done, not even our acts. No man on earth can put a record of what you can do because you are in control of all the earth and the heavens.
is not a son of man that he could lie to us. Whenever he speaketh, the word cometh to pass. We call him ancient of days because 5,000 years ago he remained to be God. And them that have always trusted in him, he has never disappointed them. And if we don't worship him, if we don't worship this living God, who can we worship? If we don't exalt him, who else can you exalt? If you turn him, adore him, who else will you adore? Even what our parents have done to us, we can to what God has done to us individually. I want the judge to sing. For your name is holy. It's holy. Lord. Join with me say. For your name is holy. Holy. Lord. One more time say, for your name is holy. That is you are Jesus. Holy. Yes, Lord. Hey. For your name is holy. For wave your hands in air as a sign of sacrifice to God as we exalt him because he's holy he's holy he's holy yes Lord you are holy oh God you are holy Jesus you are holy you are holy you are holy oh God you are holy oh Jehovah you are holy Jesus you are holy Lord hallelujah we bless your name Jesus Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 it says that I have been crucified with Christ and it's no, no longer I who lives but the spirit of God lives in me. The life that I live now through my flesh, I live it by faith in the son of, Christ, in the son of God who died for me and gave his life for me. And your mana tunasema ya kwamba mioyo yetu ni madhabau yake mungu. And tonight I want you to raise up your voice. Raise up your voice and just begin to adore him. Raise your voice and begin to bless his name. Pray that he may create in you a sanctuary. That he may prepare you to be a sanctuary. That you may worship him in truth and in spirit. Come on, where are the worshippers of Jesus? Mwambie buwana niko hapa kukuabudu. Hapa kukuinua yesu. Moyo wangu buwana ni madhabau yako mungu. And our bodies, they are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus, we worship you. Tutaku ishia milele. Tutaku wabudu yesu. Tunainu wa sauti zetu. Tunainu wa buwana mikono yetu. Tunapiga magoti bele zako. Shaka ya antelelele mozi. Lift up your voice and begin to worship him. Lift up your voice and begin to glorify his name. Lift up your voice and begin to worship your father. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh. Oh you are Ni madabao. Oh yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. 
the spirit of the Lord abides in you. Hey. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Receive my body. I have come as your living sacrifice. Shekaya Tarabos Umeniuba Mimi Yesu Nikurudi Shio to Kufu. Oh, Jesus. Sema Moyo Moyo Wangu Toku Abudu Yesu. Hey, Namuili Wangu. Hey, Niakalu Lako. Forget about the pain, 
the frustration, the depression, the disappointment, and let your focus be in Jesus. And tell him, Lord, I've come as I am. Nimekuja njinsi nilivyo Yesu. Unitumie Bwana kwa ajili ya utukufu wako. Unifanye Bwana njinsi upendavyo. Unifinyange. Jesus. Wacha roho wa Bwana kuhudumie mahali hapa. Unaposema ndio, anafanya jambo jipya. Unaposema ndio, anabadilisha maisha yako. Unaposema ndio anakutumia kwa ajili ya utukufu wake. Unaposema ndio Yesu anatukuka maishani mwako. Unaposema ndio unaposema ndio unaposema ndio shika ya tarabo 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 shika ya up your voice and say yes. Say yes to the Father. It's all about Him. Let Him know that there is someone there who is here to worship Him. Say yes. More of you, Jesus, and less of me. That you would fill me up. Oh, the spirit intercedes for us he helps us in our weakness katika maombi yako katika mienendo yako katika maisha yako kwa moyo wangu ni mwabudu one more time niongoze ninataka ni mwabudu Moyo wangu Sasa nataka umwambie roho wa Mungu nataka unichaze the, the Jesus said that I will send to you an advocate who will teach you all things 
who will remind you of everything that I have taught you. This is the Holy Spirit. We are talking about the Holy Spirit. Let it be your prayer. You will receive power when it comes down upon you. You will receive power when it comes down upon you. And you'll be witnesses. Where the Spirit of the Lord there is, there is freedom. I don't know if you need any freedom, but the Spirit of the Lord is here. Where two or more gather, the presence of the Lord is there. And I want you to lift up your voice, raise your voice. Uh, today is your night. Today you have a date with Jesus. You have a date with the Holy Spirit. How talk ya ba sipa kuchaza? How talk ya ba sipa kuundumia? Shelelebos kaya mchana bos. How talk ya ba? A sipa kubarik. Sema ro. Chazen and Kubuzako. To Hapa Buano to Hudumir, to Hudumir Roho, to Hudumir Roho, Buana Maisha yet, Yakuse, Shedebo, Sikaya, Tarabo, Roho Takati. You receive power when it comes upon you. Utachas wana kuku zake. Atutaki kutoka jinsi tulivyo kuja hapa. Utuhudu miye. I want you to be radical. Uyaguse. Mito ya machi. Bwana moyo wangu nakutamani kama vile hayana navyo tamani machi acha mito ya machi inyeshe maisha ni mwangu mito ya machi inyeshe sasa Katika uduma mito ya manji nyeshe sasa Katika familia yako Katika maisha yako Mito ya manji nyeshe Nyeshe sasa Wacha buwana huishe nafsi yako Wea bae unafisi umechoka Mito ya madu nyeshe Watch your nation, Sasa. Watch your nation, Sasa. Watch your nation, Sasa. Lift up your voice. Lift up your worship. Lift up your voice. Watch your own among your kuchaze. Watch your kuhudu mie mahali hapa. Watch your kuchaze. Watch your own abuana kutakase. Aku safishe. Aku wishe nafsi yako. He gives strength to the weary. He gives strength to the weary. Let him be your strength. Let him revive you. Let him revive you again. Oh, let him revive our hearts. Let him, we need more of you, Jesus. We need more of you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Roho. Roho Takatifu. Wambie sasa unichaze wepo wako Let him know that his presence is heaven to you Come like a flood utufuriki We need more of you Na utembe pamoja Uwe 
yako wako leo natamani hapa sasa sasa hivi utufuriki we can never have enough of you we can never have enough of you utembe pamoja Tuzamishe kilindini mwake Nua sauti yako mwambie Bwana nataka nizame kilindini mwako Reka ya tarabos Reka ya tarabos Nataka nizame Bwana Nataka ni kuchue zaidi Ili ni kuabudu kwa roho na kweli Nataka Bwana nizame zaidi ndani yako I need more of you Jesus Sitoki hapa Bwana Sitoki hapa roho usipo ni chaza Sitoki hapa usipo ni furikia Unifurikie Nizame, nizame Nizame, nizame, nizame Nizame, nizame Hey, nizame Kili dini mwako Nizamishwe dani yako Kilidini mwako yesu Kilidini mwako roho Dani yako, dani yako Nataka dani yako, niwe dani yako Nizame, nizame Nizame says in the book of Joel that in the latter days I will pour out my spirit and young men and women shall prophesy. The Bible says that I shall pour out my spirit on maiden servants. If it is your desire this morning, raise your voice one more time and call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible says that them that thirst and hunger, he shall feed them. If you thirst and hunger for the Holy Spirit, lift up your hands to the Lord and cry out to him. He fills them that hunger and thirst. Oh, Bwana, tunatamani tuzame. Tunatamani tuzame. Tunatamani tuzame. Tujaze na roho wako, Bwana. Tujaze na nguvu zako mfalme. May your word be fulfilled upon our lives. In the book of Joel, oh God, that you will pour out your spirit on these days. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may you find servants among us. 
that you can pour out your spirit in the name of the Lord. Come on. Oh, Come on, give a shout of celebration. Celebrate the Lord. Ah, uh, come on. You're gonna love this one. Munakumuka hi old ya wengi wasema. Amukupata yo. Hallelujah. If you are in our midst, don't ask kumbusha. Wewe kama unadani pombe diyo dawa. Si dawa. Kama unadani pesa diyo dawa. Si dawa. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I will come us to be on our feet as we sing this song kindly. If you can be upstanding. In the name of the Lord. I band, band, band. All right, all right, all right. Two paquetos. Sema kweli ndugu pombe sidawa Wengi waseba pesa ni dawa ya Kusema kweli dada pesa sidawa Come on Jaribu mwambie Come on up. Wapi shango. Run, run, run to Jesus, run, 
run, run, run to Jesus, run, hey, run, run, run to Jesus, run, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kidogo ban, kidogo. We want now to enter ile session. Ah. We want to enter ile session, sasa ile session. Kama uko na mangu wa muzito, muzito. The necessary weight. Hallelujah. Shango kwa Yesu. Amen. Praise God. Mshukuru Bwana kwa sababu ni mwema. I think tunajua hiyo old song. The hiyo hiyo ya reggae, band to peni kitu. Tunataka tumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ni mwema. Ametuwezesha cheza tu pole pole. Pole pole tu.
God. Japo ni pitapo kwenye bonde la mauti. Sita ogopa. Kwa maa nani ya kona sisi? Amen. Ogopa kwa sabu mungu wako upande wetu. Aya rumba tu pole 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 tu.
Kufu 
Shangwe na vigele gele kwa Yesu. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands to Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka utafute kitu crazy yenye unaweza fanya. Nataka utafute kitu uyoyo yenye unaweza fanya. Nataka utafute kitu ordinary yenye unaweza fanya. Kama unaweza funga kitambaa ama tai kwa kichwa, weka hiyo tai kwa kichwa. Nataka niwapeleke Kanairo. Hivi yeah. mwenzako Kanairo. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Band, are you ready? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. I want you to tell your neighbor there is a friend. Nataka uweke accent. There is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Weka your accent that sticks closer than a brother. Are you ready? Are you ready? So are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Hapa na rafiki kama Yesu. Nime yo kitu, nime yo kitu. Jesus. 
Hari Kiwa San. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says, Ale in the morning shall I seek your face. Amen. Come on, Changamuke in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Do I have Kikuyus in the house? All right, all right, all right, all right. Do I have Kambas in the house? Nikona Wagale, Wagale. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. That's who you are. That's who you are. You never change. You remain the same. You remain the same. Everlasting. That's who you are, that's who you are. You never change. You remain the same. You remain the same. That's who you are. That's who you are. You never change. You remain the same. Everlasting. That's who you are. You never change. In Swahili to Nasamanga, little Kuzo Gina Laka, amen. Are we ready? Come on, band. One, two, one, two. Coast, coast, coast. One, two, three, four. Mulungu ni muto, mulungu ni muto, mulungu ni muto. Come on. Mulungu ni, mulungu ni muto, mulungu ni muto, mulungu ni muto, mulungu ni muto, mulungu ni muto. Mulunguni muto, 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 mulun
number one. One, two, three, four. Tomotai. Yes, Suni Musume. Tomotai. Yes, Suni Musume. Tomotai. Yes, Suni Musume. Tomotai. Yes, Suni Musume. Tomotai. Yes, Banga Kikuyu Sindo Wakale Kikale Sindo Wakosti Kikosti Alafsa Kunasi Ai Skia 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 E generation at twenty first to Nasemanga to Nasemanga Ivi Yesu and Amuk de Tujiweke Sete. Hallelujah! One, two, one! Jesus we know he crushed Satan 
Kepale Golgotha. He is the King of Kings. That is what we want to see. When I saw Sifiwe. We are Mazulu Jesu. struggle has changed that we are born of Christ now we are chanting for Jesus Jesus Christ the Savior Jesus Christ the healer Jesus Christ the redeemer Jesus Christ the healer Jesus Christ the healer
Banguna bazo cha complo. Ama plus. Banguna e balingi na kufa. Yesu komba ama plus. Banguna e balingi na sila. Yesu komba ama plus. Banguna e balingi na kwea. Amen, amen. We bless the Lord for what he has done in this place. He has done marvelous things and they are pleasing to our eyes. Amen. We started by asking him to be with us and indeed he has been with us. Sindio, we have everything to say thank you. Habu Sema to thank you. We have seen the end. We have seen the end. God has helped us. We have seen the end. We say thank you. Bant, you should be saying thank you. When you mumeimba munafaku sema thank you, you've seen the end. Yes, you've seen the end. The same way we saw the beginning. He is God. He started with us. Amen. Now, I want to ask, you know, if the CU chair has joined us, Abraham Mulongo, Kama Kohapa, please, Anyoshem Kono. 
tumpigie makofi again allow me to welcome him so that he, he may come and say hi to the church na tumalizie kwa maombi si ndio sawa sawa na tumalizie kwa maombi again i want to appreciate everybody the band everybody has participated uh, today everybody that has come we appreciate so much my name is Joshua Mwendwa yeah you should be coming and we we have seen the end god has been faithful to us si mnaona tumebarikiwa amen by the way chairman ni ni muimbi akishika hii mic tutatoka hapa kesho lakini usiimbe si ndio usalimie watu na uombe tumalize amen amen pigia uh, bwana mc makofi amen bwana yesu asifiwe we thank god so much for this far that he has brought us for sure it has cost him his hand bwana asifiwe yeah when we started the semester and uh, uh, the idea came for this to be it was uh, like a dream but today the lord has made it to come to pass uh, allow me to take some opportunity before i pray just to pass my appreciation to this team that has made this to come to pass led by dev banessa sifiwa just wave akina dev again just wave wherever they are the subcom yeah mungu wabariki sana awatendee mema these people they have sacrificed a lot uh, i've seen them sacrificing their time uh, the academics just to see that this come to pass they have sacrificed the food even to eat i uh, just to pray and make sure that this thing be where it is bwana yesu asifiwe so mungu awabariki sana na watende mema also allow me to appreciate in absentia the reverend of this church the leadership and all the administrative of this church for allowing us to come here that we may be here to Uh, to make this service uh, successful actually I was with the reverend outside uh, outside there and he was so much grateful for uh, allowing him that he may host you in this place uh, may the lord bless him and bless this church so much that uh, every time we will continue to partner with them for the glory and the honor of the name of the lord bwana yesu asifiwe amen and uh, The last thing is just to appreciate those who accepted our invitation to come so that they may be with us today starting from our our branch university those uh, Chogoria campus Embu campus and all those uh, I have uh, some of our friends also from Egoji uh, teachers college they were with us and even the churches around us that uh, they saw it better to come that they may be with us may the lord bless you so much and keep you as we continue to serve the lord uh it is not in vain to be here this uh night just to translate that you may meet the lord hallelujah now that is the end of me i'm a preacher so i can speak until tomorrow but it's already tomorrow uh today we will have a, a leadership training that is for exec then tomorrow we'll have all the leaders uh from 2 to 7 so avail yourself meeting and i know the lord is going to bless us together bwana sifiwe may we be upstanding heavenly father we are so much grateful to you The Bible say that better the end of something than the beginning. We thank you Lord for being so faithful, for being so gracious to us and uh, allowing us oh God that we may be able to encounter with you Abba Father tonight. And I pray the Lord our life shall never be the same, but God you are convicting our heart that you may continue even to serve you from the bottom of our heart for the glory and honor of your name. Bible say the Lord 
that us young men, oh God, we have the strength of God and we have overcome the, uh, the evil one. And so God, we thank you for allowing us to have time in your presence, Abba Father. And so God, as we leave this place, we speak your blessing, we speak your favor. May you meet every uh, body of us, oh God, at their point of need, Abba Father. Thank you even my father for our visitors as they travel back home, Lord, I pray that Jesus, uh, you are going to keep them and protect them, Jehovah God. We love you and we bless you, my master, even my father for the rest of the day, and even my father for our weekend uh, ministration and all my father's services, we commit them before you. Receive all the praise and glory. Thank you, my father, for even my father God Almighty, for worship us that God have made it successful for this to be. Bless them, Jehovah God. Bless all the worshipers, Abba Father. May you protect them and give them the grace as they continue to serve you, even from their heart, Abba Father. Father, we love you and we bless you. For this is our prayer of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shalom. God bless you. God do you.